So in this series of videos, we're going to debunk some of the top myths about the Big Bang. And I'm joined by my co-author on the recently released book, Battle of the Big Bang, the award-winning cosmologist, Niayesh Apshordi. So in previous episodes, we've examined myths regarding things like who discovered the CMB and how the Big Bang got its name. Spoiler alert, neither are what you've been told. So myth number six is that dark energy that was discovered in 1998 disproves a cyclic universe. So Niash, why, why would it do this? What, what is this dark energy anyway? And why would it disprove a cyclic universe? So uh, dark energy was this amazing discovery, uh, which kind of uh, goes against any intuition that it had for many, many decades, basically most of 20th century that uh, gravity is attractive and on larger scales, the universe is expanding, but there is still gravity and this gravity should just slow things down. So for uh, basically half of 20th century, the uh, cosmology, uh, it was said that is, is a science of two numbers measuring how fast the universe is expanding, uh, the Hubble constant or Hubble Lumet, Lumet constant, and what is the rate of deceleration? How, how fast is it slowing down? And the amazing surprise at the turn of a century was that uh, astronomers managed to measure that second number, how fast is the uh, universe is slowing down. And it turns out it wasn't slowing down at all. It was actually speeding up, uh, which is a version of inflation, uh, but it's not an early time inflation. It's a late time inflation. Uh, and this one is one that you could actually directly probe. It, uh, it came out of nowhere. Nobody expected it. Um, but... There was, it was an observational fact, uh, and it explained a lot of, I mean, at the first, nobody really took it too seriously, but there were so many different observations uh, from cosmic microwave background to supernovae to galaxy the structures. They all could be explained with this dark energy, which is basically with this acceleration of cosmic expansion. And dark energy is kind of the main uh, culprit. It's just the word we use. It turns out that if you have uh, some matter, some type of uh, fluid that fills the universe with negative pressure, that's uh, able, if the pressure is negative enough, it could actually lead to this anti-gravity that uh, speeds up the uh, expansion of the universe. And yeah, and then we've been stuck with that dark energy since. So would I be right to say that the thinking behind it disproving a cyclic universe is that in order for the universe to cycle, it would have to re-collapse. But if there's this dark energy accelerating the universe, then it couldn't re-collapse. Therefore, no cyclic universe. Is that, uh, uh, is that the right way to describe it, do we think? That, that is, I think that is the general thinking, but that, that also relies on um, some simplifying assumption. Um, there right, are there's a whole chapter in the book on cyclic universes. How is that possible, given the discovery of dark energy? Right, exactly. And uh, the fact to realize is... Uh, what we discovered is uh, what dark energy looks like now. Uh, but the statement about a cyclic universe is about how the universe looks into the future. And the past does tell us something about the future, but it's an imperfect, uh, imperfect predictor, right? We don't have all the right theories. We just keep, keep learning about them. And there are many possibilities. One is that the dark energy is there right now, and it seems to be speeding up the expansion of the universe. But it may... Uh, switch sign at some point, uh, become, go negative. Basically, the energy would become negative and the pressure would become positive, and it could do the opposite. The universe could collapse, and that happens in these so-called ekpyrotic models uh, or some ekpyrotic cyclic models where, uh, where basically you roll down a potential and that basically you had acceleration eye up, but then when you roll down, then you get universe crunches and then you get cycles. Another possibility is that maybe you, don't, you never have to collapse Maybe universe could end, uh, become, become, instead of becoming infinitely small, it becomes infinitely big. That's a phantom kind of universe. And uh, there's basically a weird type of dark energy. If the pressure is negative enough, then a uh, universe can become infinite in size within a finite time. Uh, and it basically the density of this dark energy could become infinite within a finite time. And that could be the onset of, uh, basically, that could be a start of a new bang, new, uh, the next cycle of the Big Bang. Um, and yeah, so, so these are, uh, and it all goes, goes to say, basically, that uh, dark energy is an observational phenomenon. It's something that we observed about our past, the past few billion years. And in fact, even our understanding, we kind of 
be, it may be incomplete. In the past couple of years, Desi seems to suggest that maybe it's not really a constant dark energy. Uh, if it's, if it, it, Desi is the dark energy spectroscopic instrument, and, and they've done survey data on distant galaxies, and they're finding, or they're claiming, that dark energy is weakening over time. Now, of course, it's provisional. We have to wait and see whether others will confirm this result or not. But it is quite exciting uh, if it turns out to be right. Absolutely. It's very exciting, but also it, it's a cautionary tale for us to, uh, to kind of realize this is an obse- cosmology and observational science. And what we learn today, we cannot extrapolate it. It may not be true in a couple of years. It may not be true a few billion years from now, certainly, because, uh, because we are just uh, scratching the surface of the physics that we don't know. Right. So I think the bottom line is we don't know if dark energy is a constant, so we can't rule out this recollapse. And even if we did rule out the recollapse, there are other versions of the cyclic universe that don't require the recollapse. So mm-hmm. cyclic universes are certainly on the table. So that's another Big Bang myth busted. Uh, if you have any thoughts about that, please leave them in the comments and stay subscribed as we bring you more Big Bang myths.